I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. Hi, Jim. Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving! We ain't got off today! This is it, gentlemen! The last one! Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard, stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah! Bill, 
Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't a crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over. No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on!
John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir, if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on! Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. Come on, follow me. Keep it down. There's law everywhere. Like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. 
What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Someone's coming. Duck. Hey! I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. for us maybe maybe not well they ain't just waiting there for no reason yeah let me think for a second i'll deal with them what how i can't kill all of them silently so when they chase me you go the other way what are you talking about you heard what i said oh i like it real brave what in the hell who is Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. 
Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money? and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud looked like good news to you.
Good. Good. Boys. You're alive. Are you? Oh, boy, that's it. You're, you're alive. <laughs> Are there? Horse, okay. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Yeah. Have, have something to drink. <laughs> have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. <laughs> So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 That means move! You've got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to Scenicraft. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la casa, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck then. <coughs> well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Vuelvanse. 
todos. Okay. Uh, yeah. Damn. Reinforcements. Mon Dieu. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David. Everyone, follow me. Meet David. Come, come, come. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Uh, what do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Cool. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go! What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderland. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. 
Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. A little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting. Carefully. <laughs> <laughs>